So black currants are just a fancy word for, or currants is just a fancy word for raisins. It's that the origin of that word comes from uh, raisins de Corinth. So back in the day, raisins were exported from Corinth, and that's where they got the name Corant. Uh, so we're looking for raisins that a uh, deep berry taste, right? Supported by both plush tannins. Now tannins is like if you bite into the skin of a grape or if you bite into bark. I don't know why would you bite into bark, but if you do, then that's what you would experience, that kind of flavor and taste. That's tannin. Hence the dark roasted oak and a long finish. So we're looking for oak as well. Uh, when you say oak, I'm expecting mezcal, tequila which is very, very oaky. I mean, it's like when you say oak, that's oak. Um, so, but it says a hint. So we're just looking for a hint of oak. Okay, so the first grape to mention is Malbec uh, and Merlot. So let's talk about these two because they're a partnership. Merlot and Malbec come from Bordeaux and these grapes aren't from France. They're from Argentina, California, Australia. So Merlot and Malbec are deep red grapes. And what I think they're trying to do in this blend is bring out the berry flavor and possibly be used to derive that high alcohol content. I'm pretty sure they used the international style because of the high alcohol content. So they're playing hand in hand and also it brings to the blend uh, a sense of nobility um, because these are noble um, noble grapes right especially the Syrah Syrah is not noble but its mother is Mont du Blanc and uh, Duresa now those are um, AOC controlled grapes uh, AOC stands for Appellation de Origen controle, something like that. So it's just uh, very rare grapes that are uh, grown in small portions or small lectures to produce very fine wine. So that's what it's playing in this wine blend. And also a Bordeaux Claret, which is essentially a blend of those grapes uh, to produce a red wine. Uh, but it's not a Bordeaux blend or Claret. So then the Tempranillo, I think they're trying to use that grape in order to bring out the oak. And the oak, because Tempranillo is known to absorb the oak taste or flavor of the oak barrel. So that's the role. But the Syrah and the Tempranillo play hand in hand because they're the berry ones. They're the ones that bring out that plum, earthy, vegetal, um, leather, um, jammy taste. And I think the, especially the Syrah, that made this consistency a little bit more jammier um, and heavier. Uh, you know, it's no um, Bailey's, right? But it definitely made it a little bit thicker. Uh, I like that, that's good. Uh, so in the Tempranillo, I didn't really taste any oak. Uh, then again, I don't have that kind of a nose and palate, but, uh, but uh, it definitely did bring out the berry tones out in the wine. Very, very, very. Uh, so, let's go into the the uh, the grading system really quickly. So clarity, obviously there were no impurities. It looked, it was very clean. It was great. So I got a one. I'm using a ten point system here. Color, it looked beautiful. It was very, very red, um, and it even made it more delicious. So I got a one there. The bouquet, I could definitely smell the Tempranillo. I could definitely smell the Merlot. Uh, and almost blackberry. I got a blackberry taste to it. That was fun. So there is a bouquet there. Very interesting. So I got a 0.5 only because of the alcohol content. It was so much that it was, it was just overbearing. It just overpowered the wine. I think that's one of the flaws that this has. Unless you want to get drunk real fast, and that would be the way to go. So for alcohol, which I switched out for a, uh, a switched acidity for alcohol, 
uh, it got a zero because I think it just has too. It's a great wine. The grapes and everything. It plays such great roles. Uh, the partners that they use, the partnerships, the Merlot and the Malbec and the Tempranillo and the uh, Syrah. I, they're great, great grapes. And it's a beautiful wine. It's just it just has way too much alcohol. So it got a zero. I think if it was a 0 0.8 or maybe even a 10% alcohol content, this is 13. Uh, it would have been more enjoyable. So we got a point, we got a zero there. Now sweetness, uh, it got a one. I gave it, gave it to it uh, because, so it's no rose wine. Uh, I think for the class of wine that we're looking at here at a big red blend, uh, the sweetness was just right. Uh, I would even say a little bit too much, but I enjoyed it. I think, uh, you know, its character and its personality, um, it definitely spoke for itself. So sweetness was on target. Now the body, body was, let's see, nearly correct. Body heavy, slightly thin. I gave it a 0.7 uh, because I think it could have been a little bit thicker. But uh, I think it's deserving of a one there, but I did put a 0.7. So it felt good. The consistency, the thickness of the wine was it's pretty good. So actually, we'll change that to a one. It was on point. Flavor. It got a point eight. Uh, only because of the alcohol content. It was too high. I gave it a point eight. I would have given it a one if the alcohol content wasn't so overwhelming. And for us, SNC. Essency, I gave it uh, a one because I didn't experience any bitterness. That's what that grades there. Astringency is we're looking for tannins now, and it wasn't overbearing. It didn't make my mouth pucker, so it got a one. And the overall emotion. Now it's not a completely noble wine. I mean, we're not dealing with some. Uh, you know, what was it, Mundo Blanc or some uh, Dureza or something like that. So it definitely doesn't qualify for that. Although they did have the Syrah, which is the sibling of those two grapes. So it kind of had, um, you know, that going on. Merlot, Malbec, very exquisite grapes. And the overall experience, I was surprised. It was um, not, it was new. It was something I didn't experience before. Very berry, very tasteful. I enjoyed it. So I gave it a 0.5. I'm saving the other half for like, you know, a noble wine that I experienced or something like that. Or, you know, a singled out grape that, um, you know, I can really taste its personality and flavor. But, uh, so I got a 0.5. In total, it got a 7.8 out of 10 points.